Let's talk more about the soil and other earth materials. Classifying soil. How do we classify soil? An earth material is any non-living material that comes from the earth. So anything that doesn't breathe or talk or walk or need water is all non-living materials. Soil is an example of earth material. There are many types of soil. We can classify soil according to their texture, color, and their ability to retain water or their ability to keep water. Let's talk about texture. Soil is made up of three types of particles, sand, slit, and clay. The texture of a type of soil depends on the amount of sand, slit, and clay present in it. Sand, slit, and clay particles have different sizes. Sand particles are the largest in size. They feel coarse, gritty, and rough. They feel like little pieces of rocks and stone. Slit particles are medium size. They feel soft and silky. Slit feels just like the flour used for baking. Clay particles are fine and the smallest in size. They tend to clump together. Clay feels sticky and it's hard to squeeze. Color. Different types of soil have different colors. Soil may be light or dark. The color of a type of soil depends on the types of mineral present in the soil and whether it is fertile or not. Soil that are yellow or red usually contains the mineral iron. So if you see a soil that's yellow or red, it means there is a lot of iron. The soil found along the banks of Yellow River is yellow. The soil of the Red Desert in Arizona is red. White soil indicates the presence of the mineral calcium. Dark colored soil usually has a high content of nutrients of dead plants and animal materials. It is usually fertile. Fertile means if you plant in it, it's good for your plants. Water retention. Soil water retention refers to the ability of a soil to hold on water. Let us compare the water retention of sand and clay. Sand and clay are placed in filter tunnels lined with filter paper. Water is poured into the filtered tunnels. The water that passes through the soil are collected using beakers. Sand can absorb the, that more water passes through sand than clay. So, sand does not retain water as well. The spaces between sand particles are large. Thus, Water flows through sand quickly. The ability of a type of soil to retain water depends on the size of the space or pores between its soil particles. For plants to grow well, soil should have a mixture of large and small pores in order to retain just the right amount of water. The large pores allows excess water to flow through it. The small pores retain enough water to plant growth. Clay. We can observe that less water passes through clay and sand. Also, Clay retains water better than sand. Retains mean keep. The spaces between clay particles are small. Thus, that means 
Water does not flow through clay easily. So you can see the picture how sand is spaced out and how water move along it and how clay is spaced out and water move along it. Uses of soil. What are the uses of soil? Soil is used in farming and is a habitat for many organisms. Organisms like small animals, tiny, tiny animals that you can only see underneath a microscope. We can also obtain raw materials from soil. Farming. Soil is used in farming to grow crops for food. Hab habitat for organisms other than plant animals such as wood lice and snail live in soil. Microorganisms and fungi are also found in soil. Raw, raw materials. Soil is a raw material used to make glass, ooh, sand, and pottery. Glass is made from sand. Cement is made from sand and clay.